You know, oftentimes people don't even know uh, what happens with their trash. Everybody generates it. They don't always appreciate what happens to it after they set it at their curb. You know, your garbage is collected once a week or whatever at curbside. It's not free. Ultimately, that cost passes down to society. Companies within our industry definitely see a need uh, for being, uh, you know, environmentally friendly. We're facing a shortage in natural resources because of the growth of our population worldwide. The Environmental Research and Education Foundation is all about the development of sustainable practices to handle the tremendous amount of discards that society generates. It looks from everything from waste generation to its final use and disposal uh, of that waste. And that could be a waste to energy project, it could be recycling. Separating the waste stream into usable components and trying to turn parts of it into energy. Sponsoring research that will lead to breakthroughs and shifts in the way that we manage waste. Then we can look at a, at a healthier environment, we can look at a more sustainable future for all of us. The waste industry is focused on finding solutions to everyday problems. And the EREF research and the following work of our scholars leads to innovation in our industry and helps us solve these problems in an environmentally friendly manner. I'm working on a project where we're looking at the fate of nanomaterials in a landfill. My research basically focuses on human behavior and climate change. The microorganisms that mediate waste conversion. The funding that I get does go to undergraduate and graduate students so that they can accomplish the research, but also so that they graduate uh, with knowledge about the solid waste industry and then can make a difference when they do get out into the workforce. So it provided some funding for actual research to sort of find supplies to run some of the surveys that I was doing. If it's experimental work, then there's work for running a laboratory. Pure water, chemicals, instrumentation, all the things that it takes to run a project. EREF research is taken by our industry and our industry uses it to innovate in our processes and procedures and practices how we operate and in general that brings it full circle around to benefiting society through a cleaner environment and a more efficient solid waste management process. It's critical for our industry to get involved in Environmental Research and Education Foundation. It is that voice that this industry needs to uh, promote new technologies in waste handling. To educate the next generation. Anything that can advance the, the waste industry in general. We are all about the sustainable use of the resources in the discard stream. Not viewing our waste as waste, but viewing it as a resource. Where the waste of one industry becomes the raw material of another. EREF is providing the science to help us move in that direction. This benefits the public, and this benefits our industry. The only way that we will develop improved technology is through investment. So it's an investment in the future technology for the solid waste industry. You know, society changes around us as technology and science evolve. It's important that we stay out on the forefront. EREF is giving us that opportunity every day. It's absolutely critical that we all take that opportunity and make the most of it. EREF's research program can only continue to fund innovative solutions with your help. Visit erefdn.org now and make a contribution. Your donation will make all the difference.